What's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jealous and today I'm team building around Dragon Dance Life Orb Flygon. I did see a comment on yesterday's video that had quite a few likes asking me to do this, so I figured let's go ahead and try it out. We have Light Click, Dual Screens, Grim Snarled because I really think Flygon does depend on screen support to be able to set up reliably. The defenses aren't the best. The attack stat is actually pretty decent considering with the Life Orb boost we're able to 2 hit KO stuff like Corviknight even if it's Fizz Def and this attack stat is actually the exact same as Dragapult's special attack stat, so it's really not that horrible. You all know how hard Specs a Dragapult can hit, but what I need to do is add something that can take advantage of Corviknight being weakened, as well as something that really doesn't appreciate steel types that Flygon can pressure. So a setup sweeper that I'm really in the mood to use is Cloyster. It definitely appreciates a body press variant of Corviknight being out of the way, and then if we can force damage on Aegis Lash, Cloyster can go ahead and win without having to rely on flinches, and of course if I have to flinch it, I'll go ahead and try, but the ideal situation is we don't have to rely on that. Icicle Spear, I want to make sure to update the ability before I forget. Rock Blast and Ice Shard is going to be the moves on this. We'll go Adamant and Great. I haven't used Cloyster in like probably a few months now, so it should be fun to revisit it. But, that's already half of the team done. I want a ghost type because whenever I add my hazard lead, I want a spin blocker. The two that I like to lean towards on HO are Scarf Dragapult and Scarf Gengar. However, today we're going to mix it up and actually go SD Mimikyu because I definitely like its ability to pressure opposing dragons. Like, actually, we don't really need that. Like, all three of these hit them super effectively. I guess the one annoying thing is, like, Scarf Dragapult is able to outspeed a Flagon after a Dragon Dance boost, so if I run into that, and I'm not able to Ice Shard it, I could definitely use Shadow Sneak to be able to hit that. Because Ice Shard doesn't even kill after the... Like, before the Shell Smash, and Mimikyu can safely take care of Dragapult with the Disguise, so I definitely think this will help out against that. Let's go ahead and run Swords Dance, Play Rough, and Shadow Claw. Drain Punch could be good to wear down Ferrothorn, but we have Fire Punch on this anyway, and Shadow Claw should put it in range of plus two Icicle Spear regardless, so I'm not super worried about Ferrothorn right now. We'll make this Adamant Life Orb. And yeah, being able to hit Scarf Dragapult and make sure that's not going to revenge all of my Pokemon is really good, so I definitely like Mimikyu on the team. From here, the team needs that hazard lead I was talking about, and basically any other set of sweeper I want to use. That's really all there is to it. I guess something that could benefit me is having that set of sweeper be off the ground, because Flygon is technically off the ground. It doesn't want to take Earthquakes for Mold Breaker Drill, and that's actually really annoying, because most Mold Breaker Drills are on Jolly, and that'll be able to hit through my Mimikyu's Disguise since I'm adamant, so... It's really Halucha. Halucha is probably the best bet right here. I'm not missing anything else, right? I think Halucha is really the only ground immunity setup sweeper I know you. I feel like I'm missing something super obvious, but we're going Halucha. With Swords Dance, wow, this is crazy. I'm building a hyper offense team without Bisharp. I don't think I've done that in such a long time, but we'll go Sky Attack because I really want to miss and lose the game. And then we'll go Acrobatics and Close Combat with the uh, power herb and we really can just run adamant right here the only reason jolly would help you is against like specs gengar and specs keldeo which both are pretty big threats right here but i think mimikyu definitely helps out against them as well like the disguise just makes uh, the matchups against a lot of those offensive pokemon a lot easier i don't want to overly rely on it though but as long as it's up i won't lose to those pokemon that's the point i'm trying to make right now and then the hazard lead, so Drill or Mew. Um, I like Mew's ability to taunt, Drill Spin is good too, but I think taunting Mandibuzz is better because Foul Play hurts Drill a lot, and we can't Prankster taunt Mandibuzz with this because of its dark typing, whereas Mew can taunt it, so let's just go ahead and run that with 404 HP, and I really want Flare Blitz on here because a lot of my Pokemon don't really like Age Slash. Halucha and Cloyster are the two main ones that really don't appreciate that mod, so having Flare Blitz to be able to weaken it, as opposed to something like Explosion, is actually going to be pretty valuable. Then we'll go Stealth Rocks, Spikes, and uh, Taunt. And um, I want to make sure I'm not missing EVs. We'll go ahead and do this, and then I guess that... 
with the red card, of course, is because phasing them into something that's slower can guarantee another hazard, which is sometimes what makes the difference in damage rolls. So that can be useful. And yeah, that's going to be the team. Let's go ahead and get a game. So I have a game right now. My opponent is really weak to my Mimikyu, but Age Slash is a very big problem to my Cloyster as well as my Halucha. I definitely want to go for early hazards if he is... Scarf Togekiss, I can red card him out, so I'm not too worried about that. I wonder what his Kamo'o is. It's probably rocks on this team, looking at his team composition, because the only other rocker would be Clefable, and I feel like you definitely want Wish Teleport Clefable on this sort of build to support the Kamo'o and Aegislash, so we'll see about that, but... Yeah, if he leads off with the Kamo'o, I can just taunt right away. Ideally, he doesn't attack, but he probably will, because taunt would be super obvious. I think it just lead either Kamo'o or Scarf Togekiss. I guess he could lead Aegislash too, but... I don't think you would want Aegislash taking a hit looking at the matchup, because it's like your best check to Haldusha as well as Cloyster, right? I don't know, maybe we'll see what he wants to do. I'll be right back once he chooses. So my opponent finally did pick a lead right here. It ended up being the Corviknight. I definitely think I want to get up rocks initially. I could also taunt, but I mean, he's just gonna U-turn, right? Yeah, and he gets sent immediately into Togekiss, which isn't great if it's Scarf, and he did take rocks, so it's very likely that he is, I feel. I mean, I'll try to spike. I think I'm just gonna get flinched by Air Slash. Maybe he's like a nasty plot though. I don't know, like if he starts spamming Air Slash, I'll have to figure out whether or not I want to actually let that happen or just like pivot out into Grim Snarl and get a screen up perhaps. Maybe he's not Choice Scarf based on how long he's taking for this turn. I think if he were, he would have clicked Air Slash immediately considering I don't have a flying resist and it's your best bet to knock out my Mew right here. Although, looking at my HP investment, I wouldn't be surprised if I just take two of them naturally from like 73%. Mew's bulk isn't bad, like base 100 across the board is pretty good. I guess we can check whether I do or not while he's taking like a million years per turn. Uh, Togekiss. Yeah, I would take two of these, so ideally I could break through one of the turns. He is Scarf. Wasn't able to break through there, but I guess that's all good. Wasn't able to break through there, I guess that's all good. And he'll knock me out. I mean, it is Togekiss, nothing I can really say about that. Let's go ahead and bring out the Grimmsnarl. Get up light screen first, and we shall proceed from there. Ends up being Clef. Not really sure what Clef is trying to do, but I'm just going to Spirit Break into Taunt. Gets up a Wish, that's all good. Let's go ahead and uh, reflect up here. Passes it into Aegis Lash, which is really interesting. Because I did acknowledge that he should keep this healthy, and he's failing to do that right now. I'll go right for Spirit Break. Like, that's so good. The fact that I was able to chip that is probably going to win me the game. Yeah, just take it, dude. I don't need it. He, he probably lost, I think. Oh, he's at minus one, too. I'm just going to go for it now. Yeah, dude, this was a mistake. I don't know why you let me damage this. Was Clef unaware? Oh my god, if Clef was unaware and I didn't even realize, I'm going to be sad. Uh, Clefable came in and didn't take hazards. Okay, good. Yeah, he lost. Especially if you make that play, which was probably the one thing that might live. Let's go ahead and knock that out. I still have a Reflect up. We do knock out the Aegislash, I believe. Maybe I don't. Maybe he's bulky enough in that form. I don't think he is. I mean, he has to go to that, like, nothing else takes the hit here, unless he actually has defense on Clefable. But, like, at that point, doesn't he just lose to my Cloyster anyway? And he, he still loses to Mimikyu straight up, like, I haven't even mentioned that. Mimikyu does just kind of win. But, yeah, I think he, he has to go to Aegislash and hope it lives, which I'm... It comes in at, like, what, 52? I think it probably lives it. Once again, I'm going to pull up the cal because this guy really doesn't want to move. Let's see. Aegislash, shield. Like, if he was fully offensive... Okay. It's because I have an item on here, right? Yeah. So if I get rid of that... So if he was fully offensive, there would be a chance I could kill. 
His only play here is Age of Slash. I don't know why he's taking so long to go out into it. Oh, I have Clef in range. Yeah, that can't even live. Come on, dude. Just go AD. I don't want to cut again. Like, I already had to cut for you once. Hmm. I do die, right? Yeah, so... I'm going to click Acro here. He's going to probably Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is his best play. I nearly knocked it out. Wow. So he's probably fully offensive on that, looking at that damage. Oh, you know what I could do? We could try to go for the Flygon win here. I don't know if I want to, though. I feel like going Mimikyu is probably the better play. Yeah, and just going right for Shadow Claw. I don't want to mess this up because I uh, decided to... Well, actually, if I did SD right here, I would probably just straight up win. Should I just go for it? Because, like, if I attack here, then I'm risking a... Scald Burn. Yeah, and I will live Shadow Sneak from this. Actually, it dies on entry. Never mind. Yeah. So the play here is SD. Kind of forgot that he was dead on entry. Like, I was thinking about Shadow Sneak, but there's no way he can get a defog off because my Shadow Sneak at plus two should do 51 to Togekiss. Let me just go ahead and check that as well. Oh, wow, it might not. Maybe you get some damage. Jeez. 49 to 57. Well, it's a very high probability that I do kill, and, like, I don't even know if he would be Scarf Defog. That's the other thing. So he's thinking again, but I'm pretty sure this is game over. Unless Gastrodon takes my hit, which um, I really want to say it doesn't. Yeah, like even significantly fizz def Gastro probably wouldn't take it. He probably is pretty fizz def because of Melmetal running around, but... I mean, that's alright. Let's go ahead and Shadow Claw. He has to go Gastro or go for a roll with Togekiss. Those are his two plays. Clefable won't live. In fact, I think I can safely Shadow Claw it, right? I know I'm calking a lot, but I really don't want to lose. Uh, like, even if he was max defense... Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and knock that out. I think Mimikyu probably would have won, even if he didn't give me that damage on Aegislash. Like, here he, can, he might live, but, like, it's a very low probability. And, yeah, that's going to be this game. Took quite a while, because my opponent took uh, a really long time per turn, but I sometimes like to think about harder matchups as well, so I don't really blame him. I'll be right back. So, I have another game right now. I could actually see Dragon Dance Flagon winning this, assuming that Hydreigon is the Scarfer, not Gengar, but I definitely want to lead... Honestly, Cloyster could just probably hack to do this guy too. Yeah, we'll lead Grimmsnarl, go for Reflect into Taunt into Light Screen on the Cinderace. That's the sequence of plays I like the most here. He actually leads right with the Gengar, so never mind, we're clicking Light Screen first. Goes for Encore, okay, well, I guess we're sticking with Light Screen, huh? <laughs> That's fine. I think Mew can probably just red card this out. What are you? Well, anyway, if you attack me, you're like... He would Encore here, right? He attacks with Shadow Ball, okay. He goes for Shadow Ball again. I don't think he has Sludge Wave. Oh, that straight up knocked me out, huh? So, well, let's think about this. Assuming he's Sash, this isn't that bad. Like, it, it looks bad, but I think I'm fine. We're gonna go to Mimikyu here. Go right for Shadow Claw. Yeah, he is Sash. I figured he would be. Obviously Shadow Sneak. Goes hard Pharaoh. Makes sense. But this damage is good. I need it for a Cloyster. I want to get this in before he gets up more hazard. So let's go ahead and do so. Okay, let's, let's not get up the third layer. How about that? <laughs> Yeah, that's all good. Um, unfortunately, it looks like he's guaranteed to attack here, so like I guess I just have to Spirit Break for a bit of chip. He is on a Taunt. I could go Flygon. Flygon isn't bad. 
He can't lead Sheed. Yeah, I guess we're going to try Flygon now. Let's go ahead and Dragon Dance and see what he opts for. Goes to Toad. Okay, this is good because it gives me Cloister opening. Don't burn. He miss actually misses that Toxic, which is like best case scenario. You guys want to see Fire Punch into Corviknight? There's no reason to do that. <laughs> yeah, like I can Fire Punch after anyway. There's literally no reason. Goes for Defog. Okay. Cool play. Pretty sure he might have lost. Because I killed that and now what does he do, right? Like, he can go... I guess he could go Hydreigon and force me to Outrage. This is where Dragon Claw would be better for sure, but... I like Outrage. Outrage is good. What are you? Yeah, he's too easy to predict. And now I can luck Outrage. <laughs> That was like the, the most obvious bait I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, if I had Dragon Claw, I didn't have to do any of that, but I don't have Dragon Claw. So this will be Flygon's win, it looks like. I mean, if I hit myself, then it's not going to be a win, but I don't think I lose no matter what, because I still have Mimikyu's Disguise, right? And it's not like he beats my Cloyster. <laughs> like, Cloyster does just win. Who do I want to win with, though? I guess we'll do it with Cloyster. Just go right for Rock Blast. I mean, I guess if I miss Rock Blast, I do lose. Okay, but we didn't, so GG. No, I don't think I lose anyway, because Halucha should naturally take one Pyro Ball. And, like, if I miss the Rock Blast, he wouldn't be in Blaze range, so I would be fine. But yeah, that's going to be the win right there. I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. We have Rail Pokey in 2010, the fake Joey. This guy's good at the game. I've played him a few times and he definitely knows what he's doing. We both have like HO, so kind of a weird matchup, but I think the best option is definitely Mew. He wants to get up webs to win the speed game, it looks like, but I think if I like triple hazard stack him, I mean, I'll taunt first and then taunt again, I guess. Like, him switching doesn't really make me scared. <laughs> like, I'll just click rocks in front of this. Oh, he O-code. Yeah, I should have been scared. I didn't think he would just outright KO me. That's why I wasn't really too worried. Well, that's a bit annoying. Okay, we'll make the flag on play, and I'm thinking... Just go right for Earthquake. I figured he could do this, but I didn't really want to... I'm going to Dragon Dance here. Maybe he doesn't Encore? He doesn't Encore. Perfect. Um, I don't want to click Earthquake and have it not kill. That would be, like, pretty sad. Like, we saw I did 30. If I get the same roll, I do kill him from 45, but... Like, yeah, as you can see, that's a roll down the middle, which I don't like. I don't think I can afford to lock Outrage, though, so I guess I just click Earthquake, and we killed him. Goes to Cloyster. This has to click Ice Shard. Yeah, there's no way you shell smash there, which is why I made that play. Okay, a good play. I mean, I have to give you credit there. He's going to start SDing. I don't think I can lose to SD. What is... All of his offense is physical. I don't even see the point in getting up the other hazards. And I can't lose to this. I have Mimikyu. I guess I'm playing around with Iron Head flinches, which is always scary. But we're going to not get flinched because my Mimikyu is a good Pokemon. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. If I got flinched right there, I lost, so I, I was definitely playing with fire, but it looks like I might be fine. Why are you... Oh, it's life orb on, um... Oh, on webs, right? Yeah, okay, it makes sense. I think we'll do this and just Earthquake to try to win with Lucha. Yeah, did you see how much damage I did? I guess another alternative here is going Cloyster. I'm just a little bit worried if I don't kill a Dragapult, I'll lose. Do I go Cloyster and click Ice Shard, or do I go Halucha and Sky Attack? If I go the Cloyster out... I might be able to win depending on... Yeah, I think I go Cloyster. And Ice Shard here. 
we'll kill that. I think it might come down to whether or not his Cloyster is able to flinch mine, because he's definitely bringing it out, right? If I get this Rock Blast off, I think I can beat what he has left. No, I don't think that's true. Yeah, he did flinch me. I think if I get that Shell Smash up, I actually do win. But uh, now, now I lose, for sure. Yeah, I did click Shell Smash predicting the Rock Blast. If he Shell Smashed as well, I would have lost, but I didn't think he would. Yeah, now I need him to miss. I, I would have won the game right there had I gotten that up. But, um... Yeah, I'll Sky Attack here. Knock it out, but I don't think... Like, I need to crit his Dragapult. There's no way I kill a Dragapult in one. Yeah, I was gonna say, I needed to get that Shell Smash, and I wasn't able to. It's all good, though. I'll go ahead and get another game. So, I have another game right here. My opponent has a Kong Kelder, and that priority is definitely... A bit of a problem, but he's really big to Mimikyu, so I need to go for Mimikyu and Hallucha. Those are my two best mods here. We're gonna go Mew, as he leads off with the Rotom. I mean, this is just rocks, right? I don't think it, this is too scary. He just gets phased right into Conk, which is pretty good. I think I definitely just click Spikes on the knockoff. You guys think I died a Mach Punch? I don't think I do. I'm gonna blitz for damage on the off chance I'm able to get the damage off, but... Like, I, I want this in range of... He goes hard drill. <laughs> okay, well, that, that worked out. I just wanted damage for Cloyster Ice Shard, but that was even better. Yeah, we'll make the play here into Grim Snarl on the T-Tar, and... I'm thinking if he DDs, I can reflect into... Yeah, I couldn't taunt that because it's a dark type. Reflect into Spirit Brick is okay here. Yeah, that's plenty of damage. Goes right for Stone Edge. Doesn't hurt too badly. And then he hard pivots in Togekiss, which is like great for me. Goes right for Roost. I'm thinking I like Taunt into into Spirit Break. Ideally, I can break through one of these turns, as he actually sacks off the tar. To get in Conk Helder, which I don't think outspeeds me and doesn't kill me, so that's confusing. Are you really Jolly Conk, dude? No way you're Jolly Conk. Yeah, get out of here. Cure him. Yeah, I was gonna say, come on. <laughs> Jolly Conk, that doesn't exist. Uh, freeze dry, huh? Okay. We'll make the play into Hallucha and just click close combat. I would sky attack, but like I'm gonna lose if I miss, and I hate the I hate the idea of that. So I would rather just keep this around and go. Cloister doesn't really do anything, as it's actually able to hang on there, which is pretty good, because I'll get ice shard into something here. Let's go ahead and hit this up. Oh, I even uh, crit it and he missed, but this was pretty much my game with Hallucha Chip plus Mimikyu, so I don't think it mattered. He's able to hang on. Okay, let's not get any healthier. Oh, I'm faster? He's like, really defensive. I didn't think I would be faster. Anyway. I'm not able to kill, and I'll be right back. So I have another game right now. I could definitely see my Cloyster and my Flygon winning this game, so... Actually, everybody can win. What am I talking about? Like, literally everybody has good matchup here, so... I just gotta not throw, which is pretty hard. Because I'm really good at throwing. I don't think... I've called this roll before. Like, he has like a 20% chance to kill me. With Scarf. Yeah, look at that. 87 to 103. Just don't kill. He is obviously Scarf, but, um... I mean, even if he does kill, I got the, the Cloyster. The problem is he has a Keldeo, which is, like, not good. <laughs> Okay, that's all I needed. Unfortunately, we did phase out a faster Pokemon, which is uh, not ideal here, but it's all right. Let's just give him the kill. He's going to opt to get it with Secret Sword. I think it's probably Specs, so let's just go to Mimikyu and SD. Oh, wait a minute, Melmetal. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a problem. Let's go to Hallucha. Kind of forgot that this would, you know, mess me up. I'm, th I'm just going to chip this and go for the Flagon. How about that? We even get a nice crit, so that helps out Cloyster. And mimic you. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. That's pretty good. 
I think Mimikyu here is fine, and I can just go for the Shadow Claw to pick it off. And then here I'll just SD on the U-turn. I mean, like, I'll chip Draco Bish enough to where it'll be in range of Ice Shard and Flygon, which it already is, so... Let's go ahead and hit that up. Go to this guy. And, um, yeah, the win. Okay, I should be fine now. Let's go ahead and knock that out. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this, this can't outspeed me. <laughs> yeah, this is dead. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And then Keldeo. I, I got two up just for Keldeo, so I think I kill Keldeo. Yeah, Kel Keldeo shouldn't live this at plus four. And, like, I have 40% chance to flinch it anyway. Yeah, it goes to Keldeo. It should die. Yep, easily. And uh, that's going to be the game for Cloyster. I think I would have won without the crit. I just had to use a flag on to weaken it. I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. We have Quiescent, but it's spell drunk. I don't think this is Blunder. <laughs> it's funny. We got Rail Poke Game 2010 and uh, Quiescent with the wrong spelling. But uh, let's see if we can beat this guy. I unfortunately lost to Rail Poke Aim, but maybe we can win here. I think... Flygon could be a good endgame, but I need damage on Gastro if it's Fizz Def. He loses to Cloyster, but if he's unaware Clef, that's a bit more annoying. Okay, let's go Mew. Just get a Brox on this, I guess. Alright, it is that. Subtoxic and all that stuff. We all know what set I'm talking about. I don't think Flare Blitz breaks the sub at all. Uh, maybe it does. Maybe I'm wrong. Slazzle's defense is pretty horrible. I mean, it could. I don't really want to rely on that, but uh, yeah, we will. And that's why I didn't want to rely on it. <laughs> so my master plan is, let's go ahead and spike up. And then bring out Mimikyu on a hard switch. <laughs> ah, Mold Breaker is annoying. Okay, but he's he's a, he's adamant, Mold Breaker. I was actually really worried that I, that was my pull, but I guess it works out. Yeah, and I'm definitely just going Halducha and clicking CC. Can't let him spin, ever. That would be a mistake. I don't care if you go hard, Clef. Yeah, he's gonna try to get the spin off. I gotta keep those up. It is unaware. Okay, that changes things here. In that case, I think I have to attack it. As he gets a wish up, that's not too bad. He would what protect here, right? Okay, we're gonna go to Grimmsnarl. If you Moonblast, good play. I don't think you do. I really don't think you Moonblast in this situation. He's taking so long to click Protect. Does he not have it? I don't think he has it. Okay, he does. Never mind. <laughs> I got a little bit too excited there. Gonna throw up Opish. I just want to keep him low. That's my goal. Okay, we're able to get him there. Let's go ahead and click Light Screen. Into Spirit Break. Into Taunt. Really. There is up a Wish. Okay, he's getting really low though, which is like pretty good. I'm gonna reflect here because he lo loves looking to protect from what I've noticed. I'm gonna take advantage of that. Let's taunt here so that way he's not recovering anymore because this thing's such a pain. <laughs> and then he hard slazzles. Okay, that's fine. His team is like so annoying. <laughs> yeah, and he clicks protect every single time. I'm gonna taunt so he can't sub. I feel like he's, this would be the type of guy to sub here. Muse at 47 and on a timer, okay. He just attacks, okay, good. 
I think what I can do here is go Halucha and click Acro. Clefable is going to be low when it comes in. I think if I want to win this, I might need to flinch that once. But if I do, I mean, like, I think I could get two Icicle Spears into it. That's the thing. I did 14 and then goes back to Clef. I might start charging Sky Attacks if he's going to do that every other turn. Yeah, let's start hitting these sky attacks. If you're going to play like that, you're going to get flinched, dude. So just, just stop. Get to the wish up. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to keep on doing it until he gets flinched. Or I miss. If I miss, I lose, I think. Yeah. Um, so let's not let that happen. It catches me there. I should have charged up another one. But like, he's losing wishes so fast. That's the thing. And yeah, he gives it to me eventually. I figured he would. And now I think I'm fine. Don't I just bring this out and click Earthquake? It should kill. I don't think it's worth Dragon Dancing, even though he's going to protect because it's this guy. He actually didn't. Wow. That's crazy. Hmm. Power of Gyarados could be an issue. Yeah, like D-Dance Power of Heavy Duty Boots could win him the game. Goes to Gastro, though. What are you, like, Ice Beam? Oh, it's Curse. Okay. I think what I'll do is spam Outrage. Do way too much, jeez. He's like Spideff Curse, so I kill that. I think his plan might be to have me hit myself in Confusion. Nope, okay, I guess that wasn't the plan. Okay, we broke through. I think I might have lost if I didn't, depending on if Cloyster died, but I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. Not really liking this matchup, especially if he's Scarf Dragapult, but Cloyster and Mew both have potential to win, so... Let's lead Mew as he actually ends up leading with the Age Slash. Hmm, this one's weird. I think I, I think I stalled the rocks. He's gonna kill me with Spec Shadow Ball, that's okay. And then I'm thinking what we'll do is go... Go Grimmsnarl and click Reflect into Spirit Break into Light Screen. So he actually gave me damage on that, which is really odd. I don't know why he would ever consider doing that. I'm obviously taunting here because um, if he defogs, that's bad on so many levels. So let's let's not give him the defog, actually. And um, my brilliant plan is flinch the age slash. Oh, he's staying in. I don't know if that's a smart idea, dude. I probably could shell smash again and maybe win. Straight up. I don't know if I would live shadow sneaks. Let's just icicle spear. No flinch, unfortunately, but that's all right, I guess. I think I straight up win if I flinch the Age Slash. Which is, it's 40%. I've lost a game to a flinch today. Maybe I can win one. Although in that game that I lost, I also would have lost if I didn't get flinched, if I got flinched by Iron Head, I believe, right? From Bisharp. I don't think this lives. Oh, never mind. Titar is, um, I'm underestimating that thing. It looks like that's bad. Okay. I'm thinking we will go Flygon. And just Earthquake. And then it kind of depends on what play he makes here. Like if he goes Dragapult, it could be bad if it's like Specs Infiltrator. Okay, it's physical. Physical life orb. Interesting set, okay. I think what I need to do is hope that Mimikyu Shadow Sneak can kill. I think that's all I can do here. Unless I think SD would do an- I guess we'll SD into Shadow Sneak. 
If you score with Diggersby, this is an L. But I think if it's if it's not, I think I can win with this. But yeah, if you score with Diggersby, I, I do lose this, unfortunately. Actually, I could still win if you score with Diggersby. I would need to flinch Aegis Slash with Sky Attack. That would be the win condition there. He was hard into it. And he's not Scarf, okay. So, goes Toad. We're going to click Play Rough. I don't think it kills, but I don't get burned, which is important. I Shadow Claw here, and then I out prioritize the other two and kill them, right? If he is. No, Sucker Punch wouldn't matter. Actually, yeah, it would, right? If he Sucker Punch, I think I lose. But if not, two Shadow Sneaks should be enough to wrap it up. Yep, I'm able to pick that off, and I don't think this can win. Yeah, I'll be right back. So I have another game right now. My opponent really doesn't like Mimikyu. Flygon is a bit of a different story because he has Clef and Foul Play Mandibuzz. They're all Foul Play now from what I've noticed. I can win with. No, I need damage on Jirachi for Cloyster to have any chance here. Yeah, this one's going to be hard, but I think Mimikyu can, might be able to do it single-handedly. Let's go to Mew lead and then just go to Brox and then Taunt. I mean, if he's Plasma Fist Zera and then he gets, like, red carded into, like, Jirachi, that would be a bit annoying. I guess he could also just lead Zera and click Knock Off. That would be a good play. Hmm. I'm thinking... Would he have a Scarf around this team? I hope this Scarf is Jirachi, because if it is, that means it's offensive, and I believe Jirachi. Okay, actually, offensive Jirachi could live plus two anyway. So I need rocks up and spikes up, ideally. So we're, let's do that early here. Oh, you know what's annoying, though? I can't prankster taunt. Mandibuzz, yeah. We're actually going to lead Grimmsnarl. Yeah, because not being able to prankster taunt Manda Buzz is pretty bad. What is he thinking so hard about? I don't want to cut again. Like, I've already had to cut once today in the first game. This isn't my first opponent again, right? I don't think it is. Is he going to be one of those players who, like, goes down to, like, five seconds and then picks? I could see it. I don't think it's likely. Usually when people take this long, they just don't pick, but... He might be one of those people. 15 seconds, 10, yeah, maybe he just doesn't. Okay, he does, yeah. Uh, let's go right for light screen. It's toxic, okay, maybe I should have taunted. Let's taunt here. Does he get rid of the clay? That's all fine. Let's taunt that as well. And then uh, I just click these buttons right now. Hmm. I'm thinking. I might just go for a game here. Whatever, let's just do it. If I don't get burned, I think I win. Cause like if he knocks off my item, I get in burden anyway, right? So if he goes hard Zara, that's not too big of a deal. Like I can deal with hard Zara. But if he burns me, that's where things get uh, pretty bad. Hmm. Let's see. I think he's going to go for the burn. No, he does make the hard Zara play. He's gonna plasma fists for sure. So let's just predict that right now. With Dragon Nancy here, I guess. Forcing that damage on Zara helps out Shadow Sneak Mimikyu, so I'm not even too concerned. What would he do here? I'm surprised he hasn't even tried to defog once. So, here he can get the defog off, but he's going to take a ton of damage in the process, and he doesn't even take the defog. He opts for foul play. I guess he's really scared of Flygon, huh? If I Outrage into a Fairy type, I don't get locked in, right? But what if I'm already locked into Outrage? I actually don't use Outrage very much. 
I used to spam it with Scarf Flygon back in like pre-home, but I haven't done that in a while. You know what I need to do? I need to use a Haxer sometime soon again. So this was um, Leftovers Jirachi. I mean, it is Leftovers Jirachi, not was. But I got the damage I needed for Mimikyu, I believe. Let's go to this guy. SD again. If he goes hard Zara, that's wonderful, like I've been mentioning. Although at this point, hard Zara would be annoying. Okay, let's just sky attack. I wonder if his rocks are on this thing. I mean, at this point, if I do get to plus two with Cloyster, I do kind of win. If that was rocks right there, I'm sorry, dude. I'm not gonna bother trying to SD on like Thunder Wave. Yeah, then I just go Mimikyu and wrap it up, right? SD here. I guess if he's Thunder Wave on this. Doesn't look like he is, though. Sex off Mandibuzz. We have... I'm pretty sure Zara is in range right now. Oh, dude. If it's not in range, that's so sad. I'm pretty sure... Like, it's taking, what? 12 and then another 16? Yeah, it should be in range. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I messed up. Even if I did mess up, can I win? No, I don't think that's possible. Yeah, it's in range. I figured it was. I was like, there's no way that lives. Um, maybe Rotom lives. I mean, I don't think so. This dies. I just want to check whether I have to kill it with player off or not. Did he forfeit? Uh, Seismitoad, that's not the set. Plus two Shadow Cloud is 53 min to that. So let's go ahead and hit that up as well. As long as Shadow Claw puts the Rotom in range of Ice Shard, I still win and there are a lot of people in here. Yeah, I needed to put it in range of Ice Shard if it doesn't kill, but I believe I'm fine. If he's Scarf, I lose. Actually, if he's Scarf Discharge, I lose. If he's Volt Switch, I can win. And uh, he's not Scarf. He's Toxic. I don't think Toxic is Scarf. It would be Boots Toxic. Like, Scarf would have Trick. Is this good guy just gonna, like, not click a move? Is that his plan? Um, Spideff Clef. Okay, I don't think I have anything to worry about. <laughs> yeah. And, um... He's finally gonna show me the Rotom. This is, I think, the one thing that might have had a chance at living. It's always worth it to calc. Don't let go for the inaccurate move just because it kills. Just calc it. And, uh, yeah, it was Boots Rotom. It's timid, okay, but that did plenty of damage to where I can go for Flare Blitz into Ice Shard. Flare Blitz should just kill, and that is going to be that game, and that will be the live. So we did see Dragon Dance Flygon do a work and do some work in, I think, two games, which was pretty cool. And uh, everybody really did work. I think Halucha was the only one that didn't get a sweep, I believe. Maybe I'm re not remembering a game, but anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Later.